Hello there. Today, I will be sharing the easiest way on how to create a RAID 1E array and add it as a data store in VMware ESXi server. My HP Z800 workstation comes with three types of array level. First is the RAID 0 or stripping, RAID 1 or mirroring, and RAID 1E or enhanced mirroring. For RAID 0 and 1 is self-explanatory, let's talk about a little more about RAID 1E type. RAID 1E is a combination of both RAID 0 and RAID 1 together. But this RAID 1E type offers better performance than RAID 1 and in the same time have redundancy compared to RAID 0. Although RAID 1E have redundancy that protect your data. RAID is not backup. Here is a sample diagram on explaining each RAID type. RAID 0 have better performance but no redundancy. RAID 1 have redundancy but slightly slower. RAID 1E have both performance and redundancy. Now, let's get started. I have installed 6 hard drives into my system, and we need to configure it to RAID 1E. During the system boot up, we need to enter into Array Configuration Utility, when prompted, press Ctrl-C to invoke the Configuration Utility. This time the Array Controller is initializing all the 6 hard drives that I have installed. Thus it will be slightly slower at this point. Select the first array controller by pressing the Enter key. Now, select the RAID Properties menu. Next, is to select the option called Create IME Volume. This is the RAID 1E type as we have discussed earlier. Now, you should able to see all the 6 hard drives installed, including the previous 2 SSD drives created as RAID 1 type. Next, is to select all the 6 hard drives, just press the spacebar to each hard drives as shown. Once all the 6 hard drives is selected, press the C key to start creating the array. On the next screen, select Save Changes, then exit this menu option. It may take a few minutes to complete, please wait for it. In the meantime, if you like my video, please do consider to like and subscribe to my video. Once completed, you can review the configurations by going back to RAID Properties menu. Immediately, you can see all the arrays that have been created. You can switch screen to display each arrays created by pressing the alternate and N key to switch the screen. When you are satisfied with all the configurations, next is to exit the utility and continue the boot up process. On the boot up, you should be able to see two logical array drives in the list. After the VMware server have successfully booted up. On your computer, open your favorite browser and type in the server's URL, then log in to your server. At the dashboard, go to Storage menu. Now, we need to add the newly created array into VMware server. Click on the New Data Store button. On the next screen, leave as default and click Next button. Next is to ensure the correct logical array is selected. 
Then we need to create a name for the data store, for simplicity, I just named it data store 2. Then click the next button. On the next screen, review the configurations. If everything OK, just click the next button. Double check the configurations and click the finish button if everything is correct. Then it will display warning, all data in the hard drives will be wiped clean. Just click the yes button to continue. This may take a while, please wait. Once completed successfully, you should now able to see a new data store in the list. The data store name is as you have created earlier. Congratulations! The new data store is now ready for use. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.